How long after somebody gets clean, if they've never had any depressive disorders before, would you like, could you diagnose it as the disorder, not just the symptom? Good question. Everybody hear that? How long after you get clean can you legitimately diagnose major depression? Hold on. Um, clinically, in actual practice, for me, it sort of depends on how much damage they've done, like how long they've been using and how much damage they've done, because the recovery of like brain neurochemical um, systems takes some time, and a lot of that's dependent on how much damage you've done. I mean, we know now that people that um, are addicts start life with lower D2 dopamine receptors, which makes them more susceptible to the like positive mood enhancing effects of drugs and then as they use more and more and more of those chemicals that down regulates their D2 receptors further so when they get clean they started out with less than a full loaf they've now given themselves less than a half loaf by their drug using experience and the recovery I mean that does recover and change but it takes time and in fact you know it's it, that's a fairly subjective kind of thing. There's no science, there's no, pro, you know, there's no practice standard that anybody tells you about. Case by case. Yeah, it's a case by case, case by case thing, but um, again, it, it would depend for me a lot on the severity of the symptoms, how much I felt like it was interfering with their daily life and their functional ability to do what they need to do for recovery, and how much damage I felt like they had done. But to make a solid diagnosis that I felt comfortable labeling somebody for insurance purposes that they're depressed and that's a separate problem than being an addict, would minimum is for me would be about six months. Yes, and, and my short answer to that same question. I'm sorry. My, Don't agree. My less Don't agree. eloquent, my much less intelligent and very uh, superficial. Yeah. No, as I'm the, one of the few consultants here who's not in recovery. I think most of you know that. I, I stumbled into this field. I don't have a personal or family history of addiction. But I continue to be amazed at how much wisdom there is in old school program logic, even though I'm not in the program. And I think even though there's no scientific basis for some of it, some of the stuff that the old timers in recovery tell you, I think makes more sense than the most latest research on psychiatric disorders. And that whole, you don't buy a house or get married or get divorced or change jobs for six months or a year, I think that's right on the money because that's how long it takes to get that biological as well as psychological function back. I'd okay. just like to say that I think it's, it's really important not to lose track of that patient, though. Uh, the six months I agree with, but they need to stay connected and they, they need to have that information that their depression may, or the feelings, the complaints they have, and the symptoms that we're seeing may resolve, but they may not, and we want to stay connected with them so that we don't again lose them to treatment and lose them to follow-up.